Hey, my name's Aaron Yoon, and I'm a third year real estate agent at Compass in Seattle, Washington. Last year, I produced $118,000 in GCI, and I wanted to show you what the day to day looks like as a six figure producing real estate agent with the goals of producing a million GCI a year. Every day starts the same. I put on a lecture so that my mind is absorbing the right things, and I spend about two to three hours a day with my bird mango. He's a sun conure and he's my absolute favorite thing in the world. It's 10 a.m. so it's time for me to head out. Today I am going to a listing photo shoot. I typically go straight to the office. However, I unfortunately schedule something in the morning which I don't like to do. And double unfortunately, I get to my seller's house and I realize they're not ready for photos. So I reschedule with my photographer and here is some footage of me having an unpleasant phone call with my title rep due to an error on my end. On the lender's end, who they're reaching out to. Oh God, okay. Okay, all right, let me get that all over to you today. Um, what else do you need on my end? The media portrays real estate to be a glamorous business and um, most oftentimes it definitely is not. So I'm here to show you the realistic side to this business. Thank you so much, holy Dude, shit. Of course. Thank you, wow. Dude, so some honey spill and I'm pretty upset about it, but just act like that didn't happen. Oh damn. Oh, this is legit. Yeah, it's legit legit. This is my buddy's charcuterie board business. He wanted to give me a sample and I chose today to receive it because I was having a whole team meeting. So it lined up perfectly. It was delicious, it was beautiful. Everyone go follow this guy. This is Scott Bautista. He's our team leader of the Bautista team. I heard his car rumbling in the garage, so I had to go check it out. Here we are wrapping up our Monday team meetings. And this is where the work starts. This is how you make money in real estate. You spend all your time prospecting. There are several ways to prospect. You could door knock, you can use social media, you could cold call, you could do whatever you want. Um, I cold call and I do this all day. I don't think a lot of agents understand how important prospecting is, or they do and they just make excuses not to. Every hour of the day you're spending not prospecting is time you're spending not growing your business. So I'd recommend you take a look at how many hours a day you're growing your business and ask yourself if you're okay with that. That's my buddy Mihai. He's the top producer of the team. He's, his mindset is just on another level. You should go talk to him, he's great. Uh, this is me playing Super Mario, uh, I believe it's Su All Stars or uh, something. I play games when I call a call. I believe it's important to make your job fun. And I'm at a place where I can say my lines unconsciously. I can say them in my sleep with uh, near perfect inflection and tonality. When I find someone that wants to have a conversation about buying or selling, that's when I turn the game off or pause it and then actually have a conversation with that guy. But until then, I'm just playing games. I recently beat Chrono Trigger, Super Metroid, Pokemon Crystal for the 20th time in my lifetime. Because I love Pokemon so much. You're probably interested in what a conversation sounds like, so here it is. Hey Susanna, it's Aaron with Compass Real Estate. How are you, Susanna? Good. Susanna. Uh, I'm just calling because there's a bunch of homes in Bellevue selling for over asking price. And Susanna, I'm just wondering if you had any plans on buying or selling a home in the future. 99% of the time the response is no to this question. Okay, that's okay. Well, hey, Susanna, if you ever did, when do you think that would be? Now that was a million dollar question. I'll explain it a bit. All right, bye, Susanna. So right there, she probably said, I'm not interested in this conversation, so I just said bye. Um, an important key thing during this What's is, up, my dude? I was looking at you and I was like, this is how you know who's making money and who's not. Because everybody else is over there just talking and you're out here fucking cold calling. Bastion. Hey, Devendar. You fucking kill it, man. Seriously. Hey, Devendar, this is Aaron with Compass Real Estate. How you doing, Devendar? That's my buddy, Daniel. Um, he just stepped in to say some very kind words to me. That guy's dope. Here's another conversation. Just wondering if you had any plans on buying or selling a home in the future. Okay, so that's my first question that I ask. Check this out. Okay. Well, Devin Dar, if you ever did, when do you think that would be? If you ever did, when would that be? I swear to you, it's a million dollar question. Okay, so I was going to explain the psychology behind this question and cold calling in general, but I won't do it in this video. It got really long and boring, so like and subscribe this video, stay tuned, and I'll probably make another video about the psychology of cold calling. I wrapped up the day with 262 phone calls, 42 conversations with complete strangers, and 29 follow-ups. I typically aim for 25 to high 30 amount of 
brand new conversations this 42 is definitely uh it was a high pickup rate today chronologically this is wrong but i had this midday this is my lunch and dinner and breakfast i eat the same thing i eat the same meal every meal oh that and that's sean oh, yeah, bautista I, I mean, I that's to. scott that's bautista's a, twin brother awesome? no 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 I don't think Sean knows this, but he's one of my favorite people on earth. He's extremely kind and nice, and he's taught me a lot about the law of attraction and helped elevate my mindset. If you want to go learn from him, go follow that guy. Anyway, diet is really important. The food that you put in your body and the quality of it is really important. You got to make sure that you're eating clean fuel and not eating anything that inflames uh, any part of your body. You need to make sure that your mind is sharp for whatever conversation that you have to have during the day. You don't want to be weighed down by brain fog or any fatigue from food. I'm really prone to that, so I'm, I'm a little overboard with it. So I just eat brown rice and meat three times a day. And if you thought I couldn't get weirder, surprise, I eat about 15, 16 vitamins, supplements, minerals a day. If you couldn't tell, I place a huge emphasis on my physical and mental health. I want everything to be running smoothly, efficiently, and optimally all day. It's now six or seven and it's time I usually go home. The cool thing about where I live is I live about two minute drive from my office. And I moved here specifically so that I could just remove as much resistance and obstacles as I can possible to my work. <laughs> oh, come on. Today I had to do some more work at home, had to wrap up some paperwork for some buyers that I had under contract. At 8 p.m. that's when Mango goes to bed and when I go to the gym. After the gym, I eat my third meal of the day, which is the same meal as the first two, and then I have an hour or two to do whatever I want. I'll go spend it with someone else or I will learn. I place a high priority in learning, especially from courses that other people have made that have killed it in their, in their respective industry so that I can cut the learning curve on my growth and accelerate that process. I'm a complete and utter self-development junkie. And then at 11 o'clock, I go to bed and restart the same thing over again the next day. It's now the next day and I wanted to say thank you if you've made it to this point. You're my favorite and I wanna know who you are. So down in the comments, type, type cool bird so I know who you are. Like and subscribe. I want to be making more of these regarding real estate and mindset and whatever else I can do to help you. Thanks for watching. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. You're so good. Kiss. You're too good.